the Antichrist is on his way. If you have any sense tonight, you'd take note of that. You'd say to yourself, I understand now why things are as bad as they are. It begins to make sense why this earth is spinning out of control. This know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. our own Genesis, the enlightenment of all humanity, a revelation of our nature as written in the annals of history, a gift from Lucifer, the light bringer, the morning star, and the rebel. We are Satanists. We engender moral, spiritual, and sexual freedom, personal independence, and insist upon personal choice in all things. We care for the significance of the individual spirits and personal moral responsibility. If you stand here today and embrace your nature, are free thinking, self-governed, and godless, you too are a Satanist in the eyes of many in your own community, including those who represent you and your government. We are also Americans, a nation born of men and women seeking asylum, from a majority religious group in control of political power who punish those who oppose them. In the words of Thomas Jefferson, our civil rights have no dependence on our religious opinions any more than the opinions in physics or geometry. On these very steps, two weeks ago, hundreds of Christians gathered to demand exclusion of our fellow countrymen from the right to join in marriage under the guise of religious freedom. They slandered the name of this great country for embracing the diversity of its citizens. They cheered and praised when called upon to radicalize. For too many, religion has become an excuse to exclude, to hate, and to destroy. It is time for us to merge our differences and realize that we have a common problem. It matters not if you are a Baptist or a Methodist, a Muslim, or if you are faithless. You see, we are not anti-Christian and we are not anti-religion, but we are anti-degradation and we are anti-oppression. For too long, the satanic characterization has been evoked by the righteous to control the outsider. For too long, we have submitted on knees in servitude to the ministers of shame. Shall we surrender to the siren song of the religious rights until she transforms us into beasts? No! Satanism is a philosophy of action. And those who desire and act not breed pestilence. We do not seek followers. We are seeking collaborators. Individuals for a visionary satanic alliance. Leaders of the new American era. But we have to do more than, than just lead to ensure a free America. We have to do more when the belief in archaic illusions of an ancient religion is a mandatory requirement for our, our elected representatives. We have to do more when our government determines our sexuality for us. We have to do more when children are denied the home of loving parents because the genders of their partner. 
We have to do more when women are denied access to reproductive health care and vilified as murderers by those who elected to represent them in the government. The word of God has been evoked time and time again to justify the opposition to civil rights movements, to squash women's liberation, to target medical treatment for HIV, and end same-sex marriage. That is not religious freedom. The inclusion of all is not oppression. And the voices of the minority are not valueless. That is not our America. And it is time to awaken. These so-called godly institutions call themselves victims and call for radicalization. This is a snake upon our hooves. America is not an instrument of any one religious group. Do you want to be part of a sleeping world? No! Do you want to gorge on the drug of the commonplace? No! Will you forever remain addicted to the oppressive traditions of a counterfeit morality? No! Awesome. But we must tell those people who represent us. As we stand on the crossroads of history, let us confront the blind and self-righteous, the persecutors of thought and reason. Let us rise up in celebration of our satanic nature and cast our chains into the dust of hell. Those who boldly propose that organizations of faith hold a leading role in guiding American policy and justice, I solemnly and with great sincerity thank. Satanic America has heard your call to action. If religion is to lead in areas which have traditionally been left to a secular democracy, we will do our duty too, to bring the insights of our satanic practice to the state house, to the courthouse, to schools, and of course, homes and businesses of America. Wherever and whenever diverse religious guidance is needed. All hail the new American era. An America that embraces our fellow neighbors with the integrity of their character rather than the God to whom they pray. An America where we stand to defend justice and honor for our brothers and sisters regardless of whom they call husband or wife and regardless of their personal bodily choices. Comrades, we are just as powerful as those who work in this institution here. Those who wish to uphold the traditions of old feel us breathing down their necks. And we will continue to be the voice of reason to ensure that our America remains free and equal. All hail the eternal rebel within all of us. To liberty, humanity, and justice. To the satanic emancipator and end of repressive traditions. Hail Satan! For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out, and blood toucheth the blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Shall iron break the northern iron and the steel? Thy substance and thy treasures will I give to the spoil without price, and that for all thy sins, even in all thy borders. And I will make thee to pass with thine enemies into a land which thou knowest not, for a fire is kindled in mine anger which shall burn upon you. Order and wine and new wine take away the heart. 
my people ask counsel at their stocks, and their staff declareth unto them, for the spirit of whoredoms hath caused them to err, and they have gone a-whoring from under their God. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains, and burn incense upon the hills, under oaks and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. In the time of new Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord, thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting. And I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people, since they return not from their ways. Their widows are increased to me above the sand of the seas. I have brought upon them against the mother of the young men a spoiler at noonday. I have caused him to fall upon it suddenly, and terrors upon the city. O Lord, thou knowest, remember me and visit me and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. I sat not in the assembly of the mockers, nor rejoiced. I sat alone because of thy hand, for thou hast filled me with indignation. Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuseth to be healed? Wilt thou be altogether unto me as a liar, and as waters that fail? Therefore thus saith the Lord, if thou return, then will I bring thee again, and thou shalt stand before me. And if thou take forth the precious from the vile, thou shalt be as my mouth. Let them return unto thee, but return not thou unto them. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, saith the Lord. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the Lord thy God, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them their doings. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase, because they have left off to take heed to the Lord.
this demonstration today is really uh, by people who think that a same-sex union bill would destroy their version of the family. Just take a look behind me how many people are here. We've got music, people picnicking, people in the square uh, with their flags that are not just about the Catholic Church but are people who are not Catholics that are here in the Piazza as well. We've shown you sinkholes uh, before, uh, Sarah, in our city here, but they're nothing like this. Check this out. This is drone video of a monster sinkhole. This is the Oregon coast. Transportation crews actually don't know exactly how big it is, but they're saying at least 16 feet deep. You can actually see it's kind of two sinkholes there combined. It actually wiped out the highway. The area, of course, we've been talking about a lot of rainfall, and uh, that is likely what triggered uh, the uh, sinkhole. We're very visual here on the now, so we wanted to give you an idea of how deep that sinkhole is. I've climbed up to the uh, second floor of the news from here. We are about 20 feet up, so you can imagine this sinkhole is three times as deep. World Health Organization calls the spread of the Zika virus in the Americas an international emergency. Single locust eats its own body weight in a day, and it eats any and all kinds of vegetation. In that same day, a 10 centimeter long adult insect can fly more than 50 kilometers. That's just one locust. Multiplied by millions, and that single locust forms part of a ravenous, devastating force. A day after destructive tornadoes swept through the south, the outbreak flattened homes and knocked out power in Mississippi and Alabama. More than 27 million Americans today face more dangerous weather. At least 12 tornadoes reportedly tore through the southern U.S. Tuesday. There goes that tornado. Tornado on the ground. Tornado on the ground. This one touched down in Scuba, Mississippi and made its way all the way to Alabama leveling homes and leaving a path of destruction that stretched across both states. Thank God we, you know, we're all, we are all okay. That's the main thing anytime you have a storm. In Rankin County, Mississippi, firefighters rescued at least eight people from rising flood water. Yeah. Seeing them come, that was the best part of it. And when I seen those lights coming down this road, I knew that we were going to be okay. Willie Jackson and his family hid as a tornado hit their home. A lot of people were feeling in the Northeast on Thursday afternoon. Kind of a weird situation. There was a lot of shaking going on. But then you went to the website of the U.S. Geological Survey, who usually reports earthquakes as soon as they happen. And there were no reports of earthquakes. So this was kind of a big mystery on social media all afternoon. Let me just show you before I tell you what it was, that this is where most people were feeling the shaking. It was in South Jersey, but you could feel stuff as far north as parts of Connecticut. I mean, we're getting some reports from up there. Now, we have gotten confirmation from the USGS that at least the first round of shaking, which was at about 1.24 in the afternoon, that was a sonic boom off the coast of the Jersey Shore. Now, there have been several incidents of shaking since then. I would imagine those are probably sonic booms as well. Can't be 100% sure, but this was definitely fun to follow. Nice little afternoon mystery game it's pretty violent on Twitter time. during really the day. Shook the house. A man living in St. James City on Pine Island in Lee County wondering what's causing his house to, as he puts it, violently shake. And he's not alone. We've been getting a number of calls, emails, and Facebook postings from other viewers telling us you experienced the same thing. Elements today in the Zika health emergency. Right now, the governor adding a fifth county to our public health emergency, Broward County to be exact. We were just learning that information. <laughs> Uh, of like wheels 
Uh, it fell lengthwise, fortunately, in some ways, because it went right down the center of the street. Who can or cannot pray before Phoenix City Council meetings? We've been telling you how a Satanist prayer is planned for February. ABC 15's Raquel Cervantes is live at the Phoenix City Council Chambers. And Raquel, there's an effort to stop this. Kim, there isn't a vote will happen here on Wednesday. Some city council members are calling this idea just a horrible plan. So they're trying to get this emergency ordinance passed that would stop the Satanist prayer. But let's explain what's planned. This group, a Satanist group out of Tucson, has requested to give the invocation before a meeting next month. That request has been granted. Under the current protocol, a person just simply requests to deliver the prayer. So a few city council members want to make a rule change. It would require this person to be a community member, and a council member would have to select the person. The mayor and another city council member have said that the Satanist group has a right to speak. Council member Sal DeCicio says he believes the emergency rule will essentially stop the Satanist group from delivering the prayer.